Hello and welcome to a Lego set video. Um, today, as you can see in front of us, we have the Overwatch Lego set uh, 75973 of Diva and Reinhardt from, from, from Overwatch, as I just mentioned. Um, yeah, this is a very interesting one, honestly, because um, I, I know Overwatch has kind of been licensed by a lot of things, but Lego kind of surprised me. And, um, you know, th these are two of my favourite designs. So, I thought I'd crack this open for you guys, um, and myself, because I want to display these things, finally. Um, yeah, I've been sat on this quite a while. We'll take a quick look around the box. We have the Overwatch logo there. We have a very cool render at the back there, of the two. Um, very nice. I don't know if Dee will actually be able to pull off that pose. That seems a bit against physics, but whatever. And on the side, we've got a really cool um, image of these two. Diva doing her um, win pose, I think that's one of the sort of play the game um, things. And we got Reinhardt out of his mech, which it just looks a bit weird. And on the top there, we've also got a picture of the two minifigs we'll be getting. Ironically, you won't be seeing these very much, because one of them's wearing massive amounts of armour, one of them's inside a mech. So, I'm going to crack this open. Um, now, obviously, when I build this, I'll either do a time lapse or I'll just do a skip. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take. I know I'm being a bit rough with the box, um, and yeah, there's just different various bags. I'm guessing that's the Diva one, and maybe that's Reinhardt. That's bag number one. That's bag number three. We've got bag number two. We've got a lovely sticker sheet. And most importantly, we have two manuals. I don't know why it's not just one big manual, but maybe one's for Reinhardt, one's for Dean for, I do not know. And there is a shot of everything. So I'm going to get to building. Um, I might do a time lapse, but I, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Um, so you'll either see the finished product or a very brief time lapse. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I am back. Man, did that take a while? That took about two hours or something. Um, it's quite a complex build, to be honest. There were a lot more pieces than I was expecting, a lot more like small fiddly bits. But as you can see in front of us, they, ha um, they have both been complete. So we have Reinhardt and Diva in her mech. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take out the minifigures for a second. We'll take a look at them and then we'll take a look at the bigger builds. All right, so we have uh, Reinhardt first, we'll take a look at. So he's got some uh, pretty cool white hair and stuff. Uh, he's obviously got his armour, uh, which you can actually kind of plainly see when he's in his big armour, but it's pretty cool. It's uh, printed on the back and stuff. Now, both, uh, so the set came with two of these, actually. They're like single stud things with the Overwatch logo on. I'm not fully sure why exactly, so I've given one to D.Va as well. Um, I know they're members of Overwatch and stuff, but I don't think that's a, a thing. It's I don't know if it's meant to be like a ring or a medallion or something. Um, anyway, yeah, so we've got um, Reinhardt. His face is pretty darn cool. His left eye is shiny, which is pretty cool. And, and then if you turn it round, you've got the printing of his like visor from his armour. Because if you put this on, you get Reinhardt um, in his full armour, really. Now, you can obviously display him like this. It would be a bit weird, because obviously you only see him wearing that when he's in the big mech kind of armour thing. But, um, you know, it is an option. Now, there is another thing with uh, Reinhardt's hammer. You can make it smaller so that it's wieldable by the minifigure, but I'm I'm just too lazy. I can't be asked to do that, really. Um, so, I'm going to put him there because I am going to plop him in the armour for a second. And then we have Diva. So, she's also got two different face prints. This is one of her, like, blowing bubblegum and stuff. And on the back is her winking. I went to the bubblegum thing. Now, her hair, I can't work out. I swear her hair is slightly darker than her is in game. But I could be wrong. Obviously, this is a very custom hair piece because she's got her, like, headphone rabbit ears thing going on. Um, obviously, I gave her that. She's got a gun. It's quite a generic pink gun. It does the job. And uh, there's her jumpsuit, as uh, you can see. It's, it's fairly basic. She's got a rabbit pendant, which is quite cute. Uh, not, oh, actually, on the back, let's take her hair off again. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just more of this kind of reinforced back stuff. Um, now, she fits into the armour a bit differently to Reinhardt. I'll go ahead and show you each one individually. Now, Reinhardt fits in fairly simply. So you pop this thing back, uh, and you kind of fit him down the hole. Now, 
it doesn't perfectly fit to be honest you do ha have to kind of jam him in there a little bit um, but there we are that should do close that and there is Reinhardt in his full glory. You can see his shoulders, the minifigs a bit, um, minifig a bit, but you know, at certain, certain angles it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's go on to D.Va. So D.Va's de uh, mech is a little bit derpier, to be honest. You open this uh, back fold here, which goes into it, and you just kind of push her in, um, and then you close it. It's it's not great, you, like, it's, I, I, I don't know, there, there might be, like, a special positioning you can do with maybe her arms to attach to those blaster parts. Um, but honestly, I just keep it like that, because you can barely see her anyway, apart from certain angles, and you don't really want to display it with the open angle things anyway. So, um, right, let's take a look at the actual builds themselves. All right, so... First up is Reinhardt, and I've got to admit, he impressed me a lot more than I was expecting. I kind of primarily bought this set for Diva's mech, because I love the design. But, um, I don't know, in the process of building Reinhardt, I kind of really started to appreciate the kit. So, he's got um, segmented hands, four fingers, obviously, just like normal humans. Um, and yeah, he's got a decent range of... Um, kind of stuff. Now his arms don't go straight because there's like a weird building thing where it's a kind of corner piece thing. It's hard to explain. Um, he's got stickers as well. You'll see them around the kit. I can't remember where all of them are. But um, he's got a shield here obviously which is where he projects his shield in the game. Um, and yeah, his, arm, you know, his arms are decent. You know, they've got a decent range of motion. Uh, his chest piece is really cool. And obviously his helmet. Uh, so his hammer kind of turns there. It's got the fire effect at the back, which is very nice. And it's also got a fire effect at the bottom there. Now this is how you turn... I think you put the black thing there and you, you can have the minifig hold it, but it just doesn't look, really look right. He's got his um, fire parts at the back as well. Um, and then down below his legs, they're a little bit stumpy, but then this is kind of a mech piece of armor, so they, I, I, you know, they, they're not going to look like human legs or whatever, anyway. Um, and yeah, he's got a weird cod piece thing that doesn't go further than there, which is weird. But honestly, overall, he is a fantastic kit. I'm genuinely impressed by this Reinhardt. Um, as I said, I was expecting him to be like decent or whatever, but he can pull off some really cool poses. So. Um, so I've been putting him in that kind of pose as a kind of victory thing because, you know, it suits his character and stuff. Um, as with other figure reviews, I am going to try and do a couple, like, um, shots at the end in, like, a montage just to show you guys different angles and poses you can pull off and stuff. So I'm, I'm not going to try anything crazy in this video. Anyway, on to D.Va. Just a quick addition to the uh, Reinhardt thing, something I forgot to mention, actually, is the way he holds his hammer is really cool. So... Underneath his fingers here are two clips, which means you can just pull off the hammer any time and let's say adjust it up to here and then you simply close his fingers again and it makes it look like he's holding it, which is it, very cool. It's like a small little touch, but honestly it's things like this that make me really appreciate this kit. Anyway, back to the rest of the video. And this is the build that I bought the whole kit for. Honestly, I'm very, very impressed with Diva's mech. Um, there's more detail to it than I originally thought. So for those with, of you with keen eyes, you'll notice that all the um, stickers and stuff, the uh, decals that the mech has, are present there. Um, I think they are, anyway. I've, I've not played Overwatch in ages, actually. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's an interesting kit. It is. The the way it looks is a little bit wonky because it's like legs are kind of forward and its arms are a little bit stumpy. So it's hard to pull off like super dynamic poses that don't look slightly awkward or kind of like a crouching frog. But I don't know, that that's kind of the charm as well. Um, round back, they've even got the little jetpack things, which I appreciate, like attention to detail and stuff. There's some stickers on this um, as well. There aren't just decals, but... For the most part, honestly, this is really cool. The only maybe gripe I have is that there's a lot of, like, room here they could have maybe moulded, like, a special green bit just to cover. But I don't know, that that is probably quite difficult. Um, not all of these stickers are put on amazingly. That, for example, is slightly off and it's driving me crazy, but 
I don't want to risk ripping the sticker by pulling it back off. So I'm leaving it there for now. And the uh, the years are adjustable and stuff. Not that you'd really want to mess with them, but eh. They've got a decent range of motion, as do the arms, kind of. They can, well, they can, they can, you know, face forward. Now, this is also like a stud launcher. I'm not going to do it because I will lose this green piece. Um, I've also put the spare green piece on her feet there. They don't go there, but I, I thought, eh, it kind of rounds it off a little bit and kind of customizes it. And the feet as well, I will say, I'm quite a fan of because, um, you can kind of pivot them by pivoting these parts so you don't fully pivot the foot in a sense but you kind of do as well so you can pull off some really cool poses which again I'll be doing in the uh, montage at the end of the video so stick around for that so um, yeah I'll put them back together and I'll give my final thoughts so overall I've got to say I'm actually genuinely very impressed with this um, I you know seeing shots and stuff of the kit I knew how accurate it looked anyway but honestly after having put them together and stuff I'm quite impressed with all the little details um, that Lego put into this now I hear the Lego Overwatch series isn't doing great so you might be able to pick up this uh, this kit if you're interested for possibly cheaper than I paid for it um, but honestly for however much I paid for it, I can't quite remember, but I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here. I'm pretty darn happy, because um, I wanted some Overwatch stuff, especially uh, Diva's mech, because I love the design. And Reinhardt is really cool um, as well. Honestly, like, the, the beefier, bulkier characters from Overwatch are some of my favourite designs of just general video game things. So, you know, I'm glad to have them. They're all posable and stuff as well, which is quite nice. I... Don't, I don't think I'll be buying anything else because whilst I love these things, like the bulkier things, the minifigs, I don't really care about. I've seen like Trace, Tracer and stuff and I don't know, they just don't look as good in minifig form. And like Reinhardt kind of works but Diva looks a bit weird as well. She's really wide and chunky, obviously because of the Lego body and stuff. Um, but... You know, it, it's it's not something I'd want to display, really. But uh, thankfully, they both fit into their big mech suit things. Which, you know, means I can just display them as is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. As I mentioned, I'll put a quick montage at the end here. Of just some, like, fun poses I put them in, or whatever, or something like that. And until next video, goodbye.